So, okay, so let's get, let's, we, 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 we made a few little bullet points on how some suggestions that artists um, can implement or maybe take a look at to help them through this economy. And I guess the, the one thing I would say about this economy is that it's affecting everybody, right? Big corporations, small companies, the, 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 the singular artist, it's, it's affecting everybody in permanent makeup and it's affecting most people outside of permanent makeup, you know, in home, in homes, family homes, businesses. So one way, like you said, is pivot your pricing, maybe a reduction in your price. Run a special. Run specials. Find, you know, things throughout the year to run specials. Also maybe um, is to, when you do work on a client, maybe do referral programs. Like if that client refers you, the client she referred gets a discount on their new procedure. And then that client refer who referred you, maybe she earns some referral points that mm -hmm. she can cash in and use towards her next appointment with you. I do right? $25. And I just put a yeah. credit in their file towards permanent makeup or microneedling, not yeah. Botox or anything like that. But for like other services, they get a 25. If they send me five people, it's what hundred bucks. Yes. Yes. So maybe developing some yeah, type yeah. of referral program for your clients, um, re reducing your pricing a little bit, you know, f doing some sales, whatnot, pivoting get your those pricing. Google reviews. Um, I just, mm -hmm. uh, have, I just actually, as soon as I'm done with my procedure, I will cut and paste my link to write to my review and make it easy for them. They'll do it within 24 hours. Yeah. So the, the, you know, everybody's going to Google now. So yeah. what about Groupon? Um, I, I think that devalues somebody's worth. So, I personally would never do a Groupon. Okay. I can see it for like facials and stuff like that, but not for permanent makeup. Not for, for permanent makeup. No, no. But reducing your pricings or doing on special, putting things That's on different. special, that doesn't devalue mm -mm. your service. Exactly. But you, okay. It's like I'm taking hundred dollars off. I just celebrate 19 years. I'm running it through the end of the year. Hundred yeah. dollars off because I'm happy. I have 19 years under my belt. So you're going to reap the rewards of my 19 years. Right. You know, yeah. So yeah. you know, hundred. We still make good money even with discounts. Yeah. Well, there's there's Thanksgiving coming up. Right. You can run a special. There's Christmas coming up. You can run a Christmas special. Fall into new you, eyebrows. Yeah. You know the Christmas special. I remember my first couple of years, three years in permanent makeup. December would. Oh my God. You're crazy. Baby. It was kill me. I was just I was just I was just an artist. You know, trying to you know build my portfolio, build my 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 my, my business. I, I you and I weren't even really together yet, Kat. But, um, and I would die during Christmas. I mean, I could barely pay my bills. And so the next Christmas, what I did was I took a hundred dollars off any new procedure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and that December ended Filled up. Filled your books. It not only did that fill my books, that was my best month every year. Mm -hmm. That year and every year after that, mm -hmm. that was my biggest money month. Did I work my ass off? Yes. Did I work longer days? Did I work uh, longer? I, I did. You know, getting everybody in that wanted to take advantage of that hundred bucks off. Yeah. Um, but it but it was all worth it because it ended up being a really good money month for me. So that's a good thing to do. Okay. Um, also, I think maybe you know some good financial hygiene and uh, you know op finding ways to operate your business. Uh, more leanly, right? Mm -hmm. And Absolutely. some ways to do that maybe is to don't wait until the last minute to order something you need for a client because you're going to have to pay overnight, expedited, overnight shipping. expedited shipping. We're still seeing that. Yes, we and see it boggles. It a lot. We see it a lot. See a lot. Sometimes they might get a last minute client. Sometimes but. they might get a last minute client, but um, so maybe planning your maybe bulk ordering a little bit, um, and you know sh saving on shipping fees and not getting yourself in a position where you have to do overnight or expedited shipping that increases your fees. Um, one for me, which I just found out, um, is looking at your phone apps. These renewing. Phone, automatic automatic phone apps i had two that i had not used in like two three years and i was paying for them every year so um go into your phone you can find those apps and if you're not using them cancel them and i don't think these apps should be able to automatically renew they don't have to send you an email or a notice either a lot of them because you sign when you originally sign up they they get you they get because you don't read the fine print yeah who reads who reads the fine print yeah 
No, no one. No mm. one. So you agree to that. Maybe and you, Willow. Maybe Willow. Well, yeah. that would not surprise me. Mm-hmm. One thing that I do. That's one Willow. That's one. That's that's the second thing. That's two things now. Willow does that I will not do. <laughs> one thing that I do, <laughs> like I know, like summertime for me is my slower times because you can't be in the sun, sweat, and all that, right? So June, July, and August are my slower months. So when I'm busy, January, February, March, April, May, making m- better money, I will pay my my rent ahead of time for the three months that I'm oh, slow. That's so smart. That's super smart. Yeah. So I do that. So I'll instead of paying the one month, I'll actually pay three months at a time, and I'm done. Now I'm good. Now I'm getting. I'm in my busy time of year now, the holidays. So I don't have to sweat it. It's yeah. paid for. I had extra money. Yeah, maybe I didn't go to something else, but I paid my bills for three months straight. Or yeah. you guys could even do one month. Well, you know what I did when we were doing Shades and Strokes? And we split everything 50-50, and then we each got a paycheck after yep. those three days. Yep. And it was a good paycheck. It was Mel. a good we, paycheck. We made good money. I was already living and surviving off my clients, do you know? And I would do my one-on-ones here at the suit. That Shades and Strokes paycheck. You paid your house off. Yes, I did. Yep. Mm-hmm. Every six months, I would take that check and we would put it right on the mortgage yep, yep. all those years. And that's how I got, that's how Kat and I got our house paid off. Yeah. And I tell, and, and it took a little bit more. Yeah. I think it was a little bit more than, no, she has you, strokes. You did I, it in two years. I think you told me you did it in two years. Yeah. Well, we owned the house 12 years. Yeah. It took us 12 years to pay that home, that's, home off. That's amazing. And I didn't, and just, and, and when I started training and, and doing like four person cl- student classes and making training money there and you and I started straight and shades and strokes I didn't buy a new vehicle I still remember my old Ford truck your truck and your Camry and our care Toyota Camry yeah I mean my truck had almost 300,000 miles for Pete's sake and I wasn't proud of it I didn't like to valet it but I I just I just my priorities were so um in order for me that and it was just so important I wanted to pay my house off because I just mm-hmm. didn't ever, Kat and I just never wanted to worry about that. And so it was, it was two of us really laser focused on that. And every, every paycheck, I didn't increase my lifestyle. We didn't go shopping. We didn't, we didn't do any of that. Mm-hmm. We, we, we took every check, every training check and put it on the mortgage and got that house paid yeah. off. On top of that, you save hundreds of thousands of dollars, literally, by paying off your mortgage early. Yeah. Yeah, because we had a 30-year mortgage. Mm-hmm. I think most people have a 30-year 30 30 year mortgage. A 30 year yes. mortgage. So, if we had, so we paid ours off in 12 years. And by paying that house off in 12 years, you did all the calculations. Mm-hmm. And one of these days, you and I are going to do a podcast, Cat, with exact figures. We we talk about this all the time mm-hmm. about because it's one thing to make good money. Lots of people in this industry make good money. It's another what what to do with that good money, Yeah. right? So you set yourself up. So you go into your retirement years with a home paid off, with money in your bank, you know, because we don't have 401ks and, you know, and... No. You know, and that that sort of stuff. You know, in PMU, we're we're, we're yeah. you know we have to provide all that provide all that for ourselves. But by paying our house off in twelve years and not extending it to the thirty, we saved. It was over two hundred thousand yeah. dollars. Am I yeah, correct? No, yeah, it was more than that. I think. Yeah, it was more than that. In two hundred was more than two hundred thousand yeah. dollars. That's a, an unbelievable. We saved. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Well, they say if you make two extra payments to principal only in one year, it knocks it down from a 30 to a 15. Yeah. Yeah. Two principal payments, you know, only. Yes. I want to do a money podcast That's a where Kat and I really lay out everything with the price of a house, what it's so, because I don't think people realize this. Once Kat, and there's a certain calculator and calculation that you can do. <laughs> Mortgage calculator, yeah. Mortgage calculator. And Kat did a bunch of research and wrote everything down. And and then when you sit down and you read it and you look at it on a piece of paper. Yeah, it's, it's real. Mm-hmm. It's real. And I'm like, and I'm, 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 I'm pretty good with my money. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Mm-hmm. If we, are you kidding me? If we extend this to, are you kidding me? We'll save like 200 and something thousand dollars really shocking it's shocking Mm -hmm. it's shocking (laughs) and i don't think people realize this no um well i learned a lot lot of that from you yeah after you told me you paid off your house that's my goal now too i've been in my home for four years i only i don't don't owe much left you know i could have paid it off but you know me i didn't thank god i didn't because i was during think about mary what if we what if we what if we got in a car accident what if we broke our hand we couldn't tattoo anymore yeah no one can take your home away from you it's paid off right 
I mean, you would go on disability, you know, you, we, you have a little saving. You could always pay your, you know, your, your uh, utilities, yeah. right. you know, taxes yeah. and yeah. your taxes yeah. and, and keep those and keep that well, thing going. But you, you lit that fire under me years ago. I, I, I want, yeah, yeah. I, and I'm glad I did. You did. Because yeah. I love you and uh -huh. I want to see everybody yeah. that I care about and I love be successful. So I'm in be the will. successful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. You're getting yes. all the dogs. You're getting, getting all the dogs. Yeah. I'll take them. You better be quiet. Ro is going to kill you. I know. I know. Uh, I talk about that with Willow and Olivia yeah, yeah. and my team here. Like, you know, I'm always trying to, you know, about them, you know, saving for a down Prepping payment. Now. And, yeah. ah, you know, Will's young. She only cares about her skateboard and, you know, <laughs> and I know, <laughs> you know, when you're twenties, you, you, it's, it's, it's not your priority. Like it was not mine, mm -mm. you know, but I had my dad yakka, 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 like in my ear, in my ear and he drove me nuts and he annoyed me mm -hmm. and I didn't care what he was telling me, but I still heard it. I still heard it. Your but dad's I, awesome. My dad's awesome. But in my 20s, it just annoyed me because I didn't care about saving money. And so I'm that to Willow. I'm like, <laughs> I'm annoying. I'm in her ear because I know she doesn't care right now because she's 20 something. But I'm, I'm that annoying thing in her ear because I, I love her dearly and I care about her. Mm -hmm. And my dad would always say to me, you're going to get to a certain age, honey. Mm -hmm. And 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 you're you're gonna appreciate these things that I'm telling you. You're gonna you're gonna <laughs> you know you're gonna, you're gonna you're gonna look back. You're gonna look back, <laughs> and you're gonna be glad that I was on your ass about this. And then you know, and I drove you nuts and blah 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 blah. Yeah. And that's what I would say to Willow. You're gonna look back. <laughs> I Although I annoy the shit out of you sometimes, and you're like, Darren, put a sock in it. You I know, I, I just want to like get hickeys from my boyfriend, ride my skateboard, <laughs> and walk my puppy. <laughs> I don't think people realize they don't have to put a ton of money away to have money in the future. Yeah. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. So but let me ask you, Willow, has us me talking about, about this, and I don't harp on you guys, but I know I do bring it up. Has it, has any sunken, has it, influenced has it influenced you at all are you still at the point where i don't care i i, I don't think it's influenced me housewise yet but i mean because of everything you and kat have talked about it, i have signed up for the retirement 401k oh well that is a win i feel like that is a win that is a win yeah like usually in their 20s like they don't want to hear it and i know that i know that but can they imagine they start now when they're well, our age that's or older, you know, they could be millionaires. They, they could be, be millionaires. Yes. If you start now and you're in your 20s, you can retire mm -hmm. with like $3 million. Yeah, yeah. Well, I started for my granddaughter already. Yeah. Well, geez, she's going to retire. She born. Yeah, she's going to retire a billionaire. Yep. She's she starting at three, <laughs> three years old. She can't have it till she's 21. Yeah. I did yeah. my daughter as well, you know. Things well, aren't going to be around for them when they're old. Social Security probably won't even exist when they're no, older. No, you know, it may not. You have it to. may not. And everybody needs to be responsible for themselves yes. and providing for their own retirement yes. in their golden ages, you know, when, when incomes when their income stops. But yeah, I, you know, but, uh, but my dad was right. Hindsight's 2020, 20. you know, at, at my age now, uh, I, I wish I had started in my twenties. I wish I had cared, but I just think mm -hmm. that is part of being in your twenties. You don't really mm -hmm. most, mm -hmm. I, there may be some exceptions out there, but I think mostly in your twenties, you know, you're, you're, you, you just want to have fun. You don't want to think about the heavy stuff, man. Go dancing. Yes. You want to go dancing and, you know, yeah. Mm. You know, buy and, pretty clothes. And, mm -hmm. and, you know, and, and just be free. You well, want to be When you're making old. that kind of money, you're all excited. You're not used to it. You're yeah, like, wow, I, you know, I did, I worked a day, made a thousand bucks. I'm going to go spend it. Yeah. You know, yeah, buy a yeah. purse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it's true. Yeah. I was that way back in the day. Not anymore. No. no. So yeah. one last thing about paying your house off. I, I hope I hope those that have extra money every month and can afford to do it start doing it if you haven't already. And the advice I would give would be to don't keep checking your statement because yeah. once you, you know, when you start paying your house off, it's like washing it's like watching grass grow. Mm -hmm. You don't really see a difference. It and it's and it's and it's frustrating and you don't you don't really see a difference. So my suggestion would be send the payment in. And don't look at the statement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, just don't look at the statement. Look at it in maybe three years. <laughs> Can I say one more thing sure. that I don't think people are aware of? That you pay all the interest up front and the principal is paid last. Yeah. As you pay the money in. Oh, I didn't even know that. Yes. So, yes. so uh, every cent that you send in extra will go directly towards your principal. 
go direct extra, through, extra yeah, money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you have to specify principal yeah, only. Because yeah, right, this is how yeah. the bank yes. set, set it up. They're lending you all that yeah, money. Yeah. They want their money, money for just front. like you know, hey, just like Mr. Wonderful on Shark Tank. Yeah. Love you Shark know, Tank, yeah. that's right. I mean, he do, he he does a lot of deals where you're going to pay me five dollars for every unit until my investments paid yeah, off. That's first. right. Yeah. So, um, you know, so I understand the banks doing that. They 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 loaned you a lot of money, three, four, five, you know, six hundred thousand dollars, whatever it may be, and they want to make sure they collect their money. So they are collecting that money, that interest up front, right, you can't and none that. of it. Or very little of it, if none, is going towards. Well, no, a little bit does. Have a to little go. bit does yeah. go towards the, the price, the home, but a lot of it is going towards the interest. You know, 